been about a week or so, a little over a week before I did it, since I've done a reading. Took a little bit of a break to work on my own stuff. Um, I have a new deck that I'm working with today. Um, and I think instead of asking Spirit for a general reading for the collective, we're going to ask um, a specific question for the month of December. We're going to say, we're going to ask Spirit what is in store for the collective in the month of December. And see what Spirit gives us. I'm going to start trying some new readings over the next few weeks to see how they go. Um, um, for instance, questions, maybe some zodiac signs, and some choose your um, choose your deck readings. Um, so today is our first question with spirit what does the month of December have in store for the collective what does the month of December have in store for the collective what does the month of December have in store for the collective Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels of the light. Please guide my hands and help me pull the cards that Spirit wants us to know. What is in store for the collective's month of December? The Wheel of Fortune. What is in store for the month of December? December for the collective. King of Cups is in store for the collective for the month of December. This is the Eight of Pentacles. So the Wheel of Fortune card is a karma card. Um, sort of. It's, um... what goes around comes around it's um so the wheel of fortune card is a karma card what goes around comes around um what is up must come down what is down must come up so your wheel is changing your karma is catching up to you um, whether that be good karma or bad karma, it all depends on your actions 
and what you have done in your life thus far. And the King of Cups is... The King is the master of his emotions. He knows when to express and hide emotions. He has compassion, generosity, and he's sitting in his power. Okay? But he's holding this cup in his hands and it's not quite as big as he wanted it to be. He wants complete control. And he's going to have complete control even through emotional baggage. He's reflective of his life. King of Cups is a gentle voice of reason. He's authoritative. He has strong intuition. And he has vast spiritual knowledge. And since he's reflective of his life, he's able to make decisions by being reflective of his life. And because he has com control over all of his, you know, emotions and he's standing in his power, he is um, a good person to seek advice from. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight is a number of action and change. This card is meaning is perfecting your skill by going back to the drawing board. You're going to make it better. You might get um, recognition. Recognition? Rec I can't say that word. You might get... Um, seen... For working on something. You're building up your finances. It's a hard work card. You're getting your ducks in a row. You might need improvement on your skill, and that's why you're going back to the drawing board. And by doing so, you will have a desirable career or even acquire new skills. So... Overall, it's a hard-working card. You're trying to perfect, perfect whatever skill it is that you have. So whatever job you're working at, whatever your, your goal is, you're going back and going over all the details. Um, making sure you didn't miss anything. And... In this process, you might acquire even new talents and skills that you missed the first time around. That's going to make you even better. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels of the light. Can you help me clarify the Wheel of Fortune? Help me clarify the Wheel of Fortune.
Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels of the light, please help me clarify the Wheel of Fortune for our reading of what this December had in store for us. The Ace of Cups. So that's Spirit offering you a divine gift of love or imagination, feelings, intuition, a new beginning or new potential, uh, a good foundation for love or emotions, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be overflowing, overpowering, everlasting source of whatever spirit is offering you. And I am seeing that obviously it's because your karma is good. You have been doing good for others. You have been showing love to people that maybe didn't um, deserve it. And so spirit's offering you this gift in return for your good behavior or your good decisions or your everlasting love for other people. Now spirit is offering you this gift back because this is part of your good karma. Spirit guides, ancestors, or changes of the light. Please help me clarify the king of cups. Please help me clarify the king of cups. And what does December have in store for the collective? Please help me clarify the King of Cups. King of Wands. The kings are the masters and action takers of each suit, right? And um, something we see with kings is they're, they're sitting in their chairs and they're looking over everything that has come before, right? They're always um, reflecting or um, accounting for what they have already overcome um, is looking at the world that he's created and seeing what his creation looks like. All of his manifestations have come into effect. Um, he has great vision. He has created everything that he desires. He's overcome challenges. And he's basking in all of the things that he has accomplished. Right? Just like the King of Cups was reflecting upon everything that he has accomplished in his life. He's reflecting over all of the decisions that he's made. All of the things that he overcame and he was able to, you know, be in control of all of his emotions and um, his feelings, his imagination, his intuition, and he is a good person to seek advice from. 
this king is reflecting out over everything that he's created with his hands. Not just with his mind, but with his hands, okay? And he is basking in everything that he has created with his manifestations. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels of the light, please help me clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Please help me clarify the Eight of Pentacles. What does the month of December have in store for the collective? Please help me clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is working on something, talking with two people, hard work, getting noticed for that hard work, um, getting recognized. Maybe someone wants to hire you, teamwork, a job well done, coming together for a purpose and building trust, which is exactly what this card was as well with going back to the drawing board and making whatever you were creating or building um even better by making sure that you didn't miss anything or leave anything out or you know whatever like you were gonna make something and you were gonna make it strong by going over every single detail from beginning to end and end to beginning and this creation comes together and you're being recognized for it you're being seen and you're talking with other people and maybe you're you know signing a contract or um sharing your work with other people so that they can um, build on to it or, or whatnot. Spirit, please help me clarify the Three of Pentacles. Let me clarify the Three of Pentacles. For what's in store for the month of December, please help me clarify the Three of Pentacles. This is the Five of Cups. Um, so it's looking at your cups that have spilled over, but not seeing the other two cups that are still standing tall, still filled. Um... could be a sign that you aren't appreciating all that you have in your life or possibly avoiding something yet to come. Um, and it could be telling you that you need to look at something from a different perspective. Archangel, spirit guides, ancestors of the light, please help me clarify this five of cups. Please help me clarify this five of cups. The page of pentacles.
So the page of pentacles, pentacle, the page of each suit is the holder of the energy. And the page is like the child of the suit. So he's new. And pentacles are like the coins, the wealth, right? So you're looking at your wealth and you're trying to figure out how to harness it. You're not quite knowing what to do with it. Um, you're not going anywhere at this point in time. You're staying still. Um, it's like the starting point, the starting effort. Um, what do you want to do with your, your coins? What do you want to do? Where do you want to go with it? What do you want to spend it on? You're just trying to figure out these things. Um... I'm being told that you've been working hard on something, right? And whatever you're working on is actually going really well. But you keep doubting yourself, thinking that you're not quite there yet, or you're not supposed to share what you're doing yet. But I'm being told, like, you have everything you need to be successful. You just need to stop overthinking things and actually take a step take a step out of your comfort comfort zone and at that point you're going to realize that whatever you've been working on is actually a grand creation that the whole world is going to want to see or want to be a part of um you just need to, to have more faith in yourself. Because you could actually end up, you know, making a lot of people's lives a lot easier with whatever you have built or created. Um or whatever you've been working on, whether it be like um, um, something to help other people grow. You just need to step out and start it. You need to, you know, actually take that first move to show other people what, you, what you're doing or what it is that you have built because other people need to actually be able to see it or hear it. Whatever you've created needs to be shown to the rest of the world. So please stop doubting yourself. Stop thinking about all of the, the things that you haven't mastered yet. Or um, that you don't have in line yet. Because whatever you have already created is, is where it needs to be already in order to be shown to other people. Or for other people to hear it. So... If you're, if you're like me at all, um, when I'm studying something and, um, or I'm like wanting to start something new, I want to, I want to think that I have it completely mastered before I start it. Or if I'm studying something, I want to know that I know everything there is to know about that certain thing before I even open my mouth about it. That's why I don't talk about politics because I feel like I never know enough about politics in order to share my thoughts because I don't want to feel like I'm saying something that could turn somebody in the wrong direction or, you know, make them laugh at me. Spirit's telling me that whatever you have, whatever you're doing, whatever you're creating, it is perfect the way it is right now, and it needs to be shared right now how it is. And at that point, it can only get better if you take that first step. 
But if you don't take that first step and you, and you keep doubting yourself, you're either going to go stagnant or you're going to miss a lot of opportunities <clears throat> that spirit has for you. Okay. That's how I feel about that situation. Mm -hmm. Spirit, guides, ancestors, archangels of the light. Um, what do you have in store for the month of December for the collective? Ooh. Shoot. Dropping card. We have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Let me make sure I didn't drop any other cards. Nope. Over that. So we have Queen of Cups, which is a very amazing energy. Um, she's compassionate. She is loving. Um, she's intuitive. She's an empath. Uh, she is in control of all of her emotions, but she can also tap into other people's emotions. And... Um, queens are the keeper and influencer of the suit. Um, this person acts from their heart. Um, a master of their emotions. She can not only calm her own waters, but the waters of other people. So she's like a healer. Um, she's sensitive, she's quiet, she's virtuous, um, she represents seeking and, ch and channeling, um, a transformation within, she suggests a person who is a good listener and a loving counselor, like her counterpart, the King of Cups, her presence is neither positive nor negative. She brings an unclear answer to whatever question. So, hmm. We have, obviously, the King of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. That's pretty cool. And then we have this Four of Pentacles. It stands for security, stability, the presence of balance in your life. It suggests being smart and frugal with what you have and remaining on a strict budget, but with the security of only positive outcomes. You're moving forward. Um, quiet. Um, fours are a number of application and stability. You're materially healthy. Um, you, your, your body is healthy. You're building success. And you're grounded in whatever wealth that you have. But you're not forgetting how to give either. You're still gracious with other people. But be, be aware and remember not to let your money become too important to you.
you're protecting what you've built or earned. And you're still being smart with all of your money. Hmm. Spirit, guides, ancestors, archangels of the light. Please clarify the Ace of Cups. The Four of Cups. Fours, again, are an ap application number. Card means you're, you might be ignoring gifts from the universe. You weren't content with whatever you had going on in your life. You might have been bored with it. Um, and Spirit's offering you something else because of your uncontentness. Um, remember to be grateful and... Open your eyes to what Spirit's giving you, okay? Because you have your Wheel of Fortune. Your karma is good because of how you have, you know, acted in your life because of your, your deeds, your decisions, things that you, you know, you've done. So Spirit offers you a gift of love, but... A love, emotions, intuition. It could just be literally intuition. He's giving you insight onto something, and because you're in, you're un, you, you know, because you're uncontent or whatever with what you already have going on. That's why spirit's offering you this, but. But you're ignoring it for some reason. You're ignoring this gift of love or this gift of intuition. Why is that? Do you feel like that, you know, you don't deserve love? You don't deserve to be happy? If the universe is offering you this, obviously you deserve it. And... Same thing over here. You keep doubting yourself. Even though what you have going on is great. What you've been creating and working so hard at is enough to get you recognized by so many different people. But you keep doubting yourself and won't make that first step towards your happiness, towards your wealth. Towards, you know, you're happily ever after. You have everything that you need to be happy and to be wealthy. You have all of your emotions and your intuition. It's all, in it's all exactly what it needs to be. Like, you... <laughs> You have nothing, I don't want to say you don't have anything left to work on because obviously we always have things to work on, but you're at the point in your life where because of all your hard work, because of you going back over things over and over again, because of you doing all of the work on the inside and the outside. You have what you need to start manifesting everything that you want in your life. But if you keep ignoring the gifts that Spirit's giving you. Then you're going to miss the opportunity 
that you need in order to become your higher self, be in order to get all the wealth that you deserve because of your karmic wheel, because your actions have been good, because you've been putting in the hard work inside and outside. All you have to do is, is take that gift that's being offered to you and step out of your insecurities in order to gain everything that you've wanted. So what's holding you back? Why won't you accept this gift of love and intuition from spirit in order to have everything that you've desired? Stop doubting yourself. Stop thinking that you're not good enough. You know, or you're going to miss every opportunity And they'll keep passing you by. Like, you've already done all the hard work. You know, there's no more need to go back to the drawing board. There's no more need to keep doubting yourself. You have full control over all of your emotions. You are able to, you know, not only govern over yourself and your own mental state, and your own feelings, but you're able to tap into other people's feelings and emotions. And you're able to do all of this with love and light. And you should be looking over everything that you've created and see that you're at your best self, right? Like you you're right there where you need to be like you've done it all so so take it accept the gifts that god's giving you the gifts that spirit's giving you accept it and live in it so for our month of december we need to stop doubting ourselves we need to accept the gifts from spirit these gifts of love and intuition and imagination and we need to take whatever we would we've been working on and show it to the world because whatever that is that we've been working on is gonna gonna be what actually brings us our wealth and our fulfillment in life you know, so if you've been working on yourself, then, you know, Spirit's saying you're good. It's not that you, you can't do more work on yourself because we always need to do more work. But you're at a point right now in your life that you're good. You can accept a few gifts along the way. You can bask in the fact that you've done the hard work. And now you can accept the good things that come from it, okay? Or if you've been working on your spirituality and you've been, you know, wanting to open or start a YouTube channel about you, your spirituality. Well, Spirit's saying you've done the hard work. Um, you don't have to be afraid anymore. Like, just start it. Take that first step. And great things are going to come from this. You just have to, you have to make that first step. You have to stop doubting yourself and you have to reach out and you have to accept the gift that you're being given. And if you don't accept it, if you keep doubting in yourself or doubting yourself, then you're going to miss this opportunity. But this opportunity is coming. So don't miss your chance to have your fulfillment and to have your wealth. This is most likely going to happen in December. If you don't ignore your your gifts from spirit. Okay, I think that is all we're going to do for tonight. Um, love and light be with you. Have a great week. 
Um, if you have any advice or if you need advice, comment in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe to help people see my, um, my channel in order to let the spirit, um, spirit's messages be known. And namaste.